Hello how are you all? I hope you are fine by the grace of God Almighty. Thanks for watching Nergia Cartoons. Before I share about today's video with you, I want to tell you something. It's been two years since I started my channel, and this is the first video I scripted. I know how I controlled my emotions when writing it, and it saddens me to know that such people exist in this world. Brother and sister send me this. They said, show people the reality of what a real uncle did to us. And I feel sorry, saying that wealth makes a person so blind, greed corrupts a person's mind so much that they fail to understand. What should I do or not do? Before starting today's video, let me also tell you all that many people ask me how they can share their true based stories with me. So, today, I'll put an email at us in the community box. I've put email at the end of many movies before. If anyone wants to share scripts, they can do it there. Now we have to look what Bible tells us about today's video, Exodus 22:22-24. Do not take advantage of the widow or the fatherless. If you do and they cry out to me, I will certainly hear their cry. My anger will be aroused, and they will kill you with the sword. Your wives will become widows, and your children fatherless. Let's start this video and watch it together, what happened in this. Uncle, we both sister and brother became orphans at a young age. Our parents left this world, leaving us alone. From this world, we have to become each other's strength. We have to empower each other and face everything together with the help of God. Do you think I'm crazy? Go do your own work. Our problem is ours not yours. Next time don't ask any personal matters regarding our family. Uncle, we never informed by daddy, nor did we ever ask him or mummy about this because it was not our concern, and it was daddy responsibility which he was fulfilling. And Smith, I also don't understand which law or rule in the world allows for the properties of parents to go their younger brother instead of deceased person children. Mason, keep this into your mind. If you felt pity for your brother's children and came to me saying that we should give them some your consideration close and stay within your limits. We've spent our whole life in poverty, we didn't have enough money to complete your education, and to do <laughs> Son, don't cry. It's a big sorrow that first your mother left this world, and now your father has passed away, but don't be upset at all. I am your uncle and I am always with you. You don't need to worry please. Uncle, we both sister and brother became orphans at a young age. Our parents left this world, leaving us alone. What will become of us now, uncle? E, e, e. My brother was very good. He loved everyone. He left us so soon. I can't imagine my life without my brother. But my children, don't worry at all. I am also like your father and they will always take care of you. I will love you all. Uncle, after God, you are everything to us. The way you take care of your own children, I hope you will take care of me and my sister in the same way and love us just like you love your own children. Son, don't be upset. Look, this is such a big house your daddy left for you all. Both of you, brother and sister, stay here comfortably. Your sister is about to complete her college, then she'll get admission to university. Your school will be over, then you'll join college son, time will pass, and you'll move forward. Everything will be fine. Yes, you're saying right uncle. We need God's support and your support. Don't worry at all son, I won't be oblivious to you all. Look, I'm not far from you. My house is just a little distance away. Whenever you both, brother and sister, need me, I'll be there at your doorstep with just one phone call. Thank you very much, uncle. We'll definitely contact you if I or my sister need anything. Alright son, I'm leaving now. Take care of yourself, and I'll check on you guys a few times during the day. Okay uncle, take care bye. Smith, look at me. Now that our parents have passed away from this world, we have to become each other's strength. We have to empower each other and face everything together with the help of God. We will not lose courage now. I am your elder sister, and you are my younger brother. Now carefully consider every decision, every step. We can't afford to do anything negligently that might cause us harm. We may not have much experience, but time has made us mature, so now we have to handle things like mature individuals. My sister, you are absolutely right. 
now we have understood responsibility ourselves, and we have to be very thoughtful at every step. We no longer have the shadow of our parents over us. We have become orphans. But don't you remember God says in Deuteronomy 10:18, He defends the cause of the fatherless and the widow, and loves the foreigner residing among you, giving them food and clothing. So, please don't worry my brother Smith. Look Smith, you know we have no clue about the details of the properties. Because Daddy never told us, and Mummy didn't either. They told us to focus only on our education. Talk to Uncle and ask him that the properties belonging to our Daddy are part of our inheritance, and also ask about the procedure so that we can plan our next steps accordingly. Yes, my sister, you are absolutely right. I agree with what you're saying. Because we have no information about it and we are not even of that age yet, I'll talk to uncle about it and ask him to help us with it. I'll ask uncle to arrange for the legal documentation for our inheritance we were supposed to receive after our daddy passing. Yes, exactly, my brother. I'm also trying to explain the same thing to you, that now we have to manage our responsibilities ourselves. Once I complete university, I'll start my career, and you should also complete your education soon so that you can settle in your life. Exactly. You are right, my sister. Tomorrow, I'll go to uncle's place and have a detailed discussion with him. Mason, how are you? Are you okay? I arrived from abroad, two days ago. I heard about your brother's passing. May your brother rest in peace. Yes, what you heard is correct. He left this world. Now, all that remains is sorrow. And now we can only pray for the deceased. Your brother Carter also has two children, I've heard. Will they stay with you or in their own home? Because I think they are very young. I hope he will support those children and whatever matters they have regarding their fathers. Tell me, when did you start taking so much interest in our personal matters? What's your business with our family issues? Giving me advice? Do you think I'm crazy? Go do your own work. Our problem is ours not yours. Next time don't ask any personal matters regarding our family. I know better than you what I need to do. Mason, Mason, what's gotten into you? Why are you saying this? Did I say something wrong to you? I just told you that your brother is no longer in this world, and you need to take care of his children, and you're being so rude to me. I only expressed my condolences for the passing of your brother and you're standing here on the road being so disrespectful to me, as if I've said something offensive to you. I think you're experiencing high blood pressure. Go, get it checked by a doctor. I don't think you're feeling well. I apologize for my wrong behavior towards you, and you might be right. I have may have a blood pressure issue. I should start medication. This is why I reacted abruptly after hearing your words. Okay, no problem. All right. I'm leaving now. Take care of yourself. Bye. Okay Thomas, bye. I don't know what happened with people these days. Why is there so much curiosity? They keep poking around and everyone lives, wondering what everyone is doing, eating, drinking, and what's happening in other people's homes. Nowadays, people seem to be focused only on meddling in others' personal matter instead of paying attention to their own lives. And look at him, he start asking personal questions unnecessarily, like what you did for the kids and so on. Someone should explain to this foolish person that I don't have time to respond to all his nonsense. I have a lot of work to do. Uncle, hope you and your family are well. I came to talk to you about something important. I just needed a bit of information from you. Yes, Smith tell me. My doors are always open for you, and consider this your own home too. Come on, now tell me what's the matter, son. How can I help you? Uncle, as you know my father has passed away. I need information regarding the inheritance from daddy's side. What's the procedure are involved to ensure we receive our share of our father's estate? Smith, I explain everything to you comprehensively, and I hope that you understand all my points, son. Sure. Uncle explain it to me a bit more details about what we need to do and what documents we need to prepare according to our country's rules and laws. 
Smith, before I tell you all these things, I want to ask you some questions, and then we will discuss this matter. You can ask uncle. Your father ensured that both of you siblings attended the most expensive school in the city, and the area where your house is located happens to be the most expensive area in the city. Have you ever thought about how your father is affording such high fees? Have you ever asked your father where he is getting all the money to afford this expensive lifestyle in the house he bought in such an expensive area? Uncle, we never informed by daddy, nor did we ever ask him or mummy about this because it was not our concern, and it was daddy responsibility which he was fulfilling. Please tell me openly what's going on so that I can understand your point easily. Son, your father sold his property to me during his life, but he told me not to disclose this to anyone, otherwise my children would be upset. However, I am willing to show you the documents your father provided me when he sold his property to me so that you can understand how he was managing your expenses. Uncle, what are you talking about? You know that my daddy had a very successful business in market, and we never lacked anything. He fulfilled all our desires. How could he take such a big step without even telling us? Daddy's health was deteriorating, which caused his business to decline. He became ill three months ago. Despite this, our living standard remained the same, and all our expenses were being met. Smith, your daddy had two houses, two shops, and a workshop area that he had rented out. I have all the documents, he sold them to me and he did so because he was very worried about your expenses. He said his business wasn't doing well. So you're my younger brother, you buy these things from me. Give me some money, and don't disclose this matter. If you don't believe me, I can show you all the documents. You can check those documents. And if you need to verify them anywhere, you can do that too. Your statement implies that now our daddy doesn't have anything, whatever he had, he sold it to you. Am I right uncle? Yes, that's the truth. But don't worry at all. If you ever need anything, I am your uncle, and I will help you. The doors of my house are always open for you and your sister. I am your uncle. I understand, uncle. I'm just thinking about what my daddy did wrong. He should have thought about what would happen to his children if he sold everything. This thing is bothering me a lot now. Sometimes circumstances force people to do things they wouldn't otherwise do. Whatever has happened, has happened. Now, there's no point in dwelling on it. Alright, uncle, that's fine. I'm heading out now, and I'll discuss all these matters with my sister and tell her that. We both siblings have to work hard and move forward. Nothing is left of our fathers, I'll discuss this reality with my sister. If you or your sister need to do a part-time job anywhere, let me know, I'll arrange something for you so that you both can manage your expenses. Uncle, we have only you to rely on, and who else is there for us in this city besides you? It's difficult to understand how Daddy could make such a big decision without discussing it with us, and it's unsettling to hear Uncle say that Daddy has sold all his properties. My head is spinning after listening you. Sister. I'm also very confused now. Uncle told me that the houses and shops that belonged to daddy were sold by him, and he also mentioned that he has the documents. Now, I'm not understanding what will become of us. My mind is telling me that we shouldn't remain silent about this matter. The properties daddy owned were very expensive, and we had excellent business and market too. How could it be possible that daddy sold his properties and run the circle of our house? It feels like a pre-planned story to me. What do you say? And Smith, I also don't understand which law or rule in the world allows for the properties of parents to go their younger brother instead of deceased person children. This isn't found in any law of the world. How could uncle do something like this? Do you think uncle is lying to us, or what's going on in your mind? Please tell me, my sister, because I don't know anything about these things at all. I'm not saying that uncle is lying. I'm saying that our daddy took such a big step, and we weren't even informed about it. And as soon as our daddy passed away, uncle said that all these properties were sold by our daddy to him. According to him, they have the documents. Now what do you suggest? What should we do? Please give me your advice so that we can handle this matter properly. Smith, I'll think about what we should do about this, and if needed, 
I'll directly talk to uncle. I'll ask him to show us the documents. Because those properties belong to our father. Smith, this isn't a piece of bread that someone can easily take and we just watch silently. Exactly. This isn't a piece of bread that someone can easily take and we just remain silent. I will consult with Peter Mama's cousin. And I'll also inform Daddy two or three close friends about this matter. After that we'll decide what to do next. Because Smith, you haven't completed your education, and neither have I. We need some money, so we can't just sit quiet and accept everything Uncle says without question. My brother, try to understand my point. I'm your elder sister, so I'm speaking for your benefit. Relationships should be nurtured, but the person nurturing them shouldn't close their eyes to any kind of harm. They should only keep smiling, pretending nothing is wrong. He's my uncle, no big deal, he's my father's friend, no big deal. He's my close relatives, no big deal. Because remember God's words in Psalm 118, 8 It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in humans. You prefer, you do it, I am with you, your little brother. All his life, he lived luxuriously on my father's money. My big brother studied at the most expensive institutes, from school to college and university. My father spent millions on him, and today his son came to me asking the inheritance from his father that he is entitled to receive. I did what I had to do. Mason, keep this into your mind. If you felt pity for your brother's children and came to me saying that we should give them some consideration, I wouldn't let you go. Your mind was messed up. Do you have any idea how much money I spent on getting the property documents made? Did I spend that money so I could just give the property to my brother's children? Don't say foolish things. Remember the time when you asked your father for money for your business, and he refused to give you the money? I had just gotten married to you at that time. When I heard about it, I was so upset, and those same funds your father gave to your big brother, saying my little son Mason is not reliable. These words are still weighing heavily on my heart today, and I can't forget them. That's why I've done something so you don't need to worry. Check these documents wherever you want. The properties belong to me. I'm not giving them to anyone. Yes, I'm with you. You don't need to worry at all. We won't back down from this matter. Mama, please tell me this. What fault do those children have that you have gone to such an extent? And now you're planning to exploit the inheritance of those orphaned children. Do both of you fear God or not? You have come empty-handed, and you will go empty-handed and God also tell us about this in Ecclesiastes 5.15 As he came from his mother's womb he shall go again, naked as he came, and shall take nothing for his toil that he may carry away in his hands. Mama, seriously I don't understand what line you are following. I can't comprehend why you are committing such a big fraud against those children. Richard. Keep your mouth close and stay within your limits. We've spent our whole life in poverty, we didn't have enough money to complete your education, and today you were working as a waiter in a restaurant and giving me lectures. Go away from here. Being a waiter is not a bad thing. I work hard from morning till evening never taking anyone's right, and I am very happy with my simple lifestyle. I am grateful to God for providing me with sustenance with dignity I am not like you who keep an eye on others' wealth and are involved in exploiting orphans. If you come up with more words, now I'll forget that you are my son. Get out of here. I'm leaving, but let me tell you this, if you both succeed in this plan, what face will you show to God on the Day of Judgment? Go away from here. Were you listening to your son's words? I don't talk to him about this. How was he giving lectures like this? He told you to pay attention to his words. What you are doing is absolutely right. I am with you, and if your brother's children come next time, I will talk to them. Don't worry, I have done everything very carefully. They can do whatever they want, but they cannot shake my property anywhere. Yes, I also expect the same from you. The work you do, you do it in a very technical way. To be continued. Last part is available after few hours. 
Thanks for watching Nergia Cartoons. May God bless you all. Amen. Take care. Bye. And yes, if requested, I can make three parts of this.